we are going to create bloomers. Bloomers are so fun to wear to bed, around the house, or under a really short dress or skirt, so that way you're not showing off your panties when you bend over at the drinking fountain. Fun fact, in the 1970s, they had these micro mini dresses that had matching bloomers under them, and they were called Sizzler sets, so, so cute. I remember my mom telling me that she had a Sizzler set when she was little, and it's a red and white gingham. It is so adorable, because I remember her showing it to me a few years ago. And my grandma used to make her all kinds of Sizzler sets. The first thing you're going to need is a bloomer pattern, and I designed one for you. It's a one-piece bloomer pattern, so it's super easy. And we've got it in all sizes, extra small to 6X. So just download it, print it out, and let's make some bloomers. Today I'm going to be using a nice lightweight cotton. It's like a red and white and gold metallic stripe. I thought it would be great because Christmas is right around the corner. And you're gonna need about a half yard to three quarters of a yard, depending on what size you're cutting out. So make sure you measure your pattern before you buy your fabric. You're also gonna need some elastic for the waist and the leg opening. So make sure you follow the elastic guide so you know exactly how much to buy. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's start cutting it out. And you're gonna be amazed at how fast these come together. So this pattern piece is cut too, so I'm gonna lay two pieces of fabric on top of each other so I can cut them both out at the same time. If you are using a stripe, make sure you're lining up your stripes properly and make sure you follow your grain line on the pattern as well. It's gonna run right through the side of it. Go ahead and weight it down. Grab your rotary cutter or your scissors and let's cut it out. And there we go, we are all cut out. So now we have two pieces cut out for our bloomers. And the first thing we're gonna do is place right sides together and sew up these curved shapes here. So the deeper one is the back and the shallower one is the front. So we're gonna place these right sides together and we are just sewing these curves. So I'm gonna be serging those two seams together and using the serger to finish up my edges throughout the process. But if you don't have a serger, totally okay. You can use your overcast stitch to sew and finish the edge at the same time. Or right now you can zigzag the edges of all of your pieces so that way they're all finished and they're not gonna fray when you wear them. And then you can go ahead and use your straight stitch to stitch up your seams. So first I'm gonna be serging together the center back seam. That looks great. Now I'm gonna be serging together the center front seam. And now we're done with both of those seams. Now that you have your two sides sewn up, it should look something like that. Now what we need to do is sew together the little inseam where the crotch is. So what we're going to do is take it and we are going to pull it apart the opposite way. So you're gonna end up now with a seam in the front, a seam in the back, and they're already starting to look more like shorts. So now what we need to do is sew together this inseam here. So we are going to line up the seam at the center, and we are just going to serge this up, or you could overcast it or use your straight stitch. So next we're doing the inseam. Also, while I'm at the serger, I'm going to be finishing my edges around the waist and the leg openings, so that way they don't fray when I wash them. So right now, I'm serging together the inseam. And we're finished serging all of our edges now. So now we have all of our seams sewn up and all of our edges are nice and finished. Next, we're going to create the casing for the waist. So let's go over the details. If you're enjoying how to create bloomers so far, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to making our bloomers. So I have my shorts turned inside out and I've got my piece of waist elastic. So now we need to figure out how big is the casing going to be. So you can use any width of elastic that you would like. You just have to adjust your casing accordingly. So you're going to need to fold it down to the inside and we want to make sure that the casing isn't really big because we don't want the elastic floating around in it. We just want about a half inch extra total wider than your elastic. So if you fold it over, lay your elastic on here and measure over and make sure you have at least a half inch. 
And then you can go ahead, grab your seam gauge, measure how wide this is, and then that's how wide you need to iron down the entire waist. So I've got my seam gauge and I placed it at the very edge of the fabric and at the fold. And it looks like my fold is gonna be one and seven eighths. So this is a really great tool, super inexpensive. You can get one for a few bucks. So if you don't have one, you should definitely pick one up. So now I'm gonna iron down the casing all the way around the waist. Now that I have it all ironed over, it's time to sew the casing down. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna sew right next to the serge and we need to make sure we leave a little opening so we can get the elastic in there. So I'm gonna be sewing right outside the serge right here all the way around the casing, but I'm gonna make sure I leave a two inch opening so I can go back and get my elastic in there. And I'm going to be doing this with a straight stitch. Okay, so don't forget to back stitch when you start and when you end. I'm gonna stop right about here. So I've got my opening here to get my elastic in, a couple back stitches and cut. So I have my casing all sewn down. So it looks like this on the inside and it looks like this on the outside. And you can see right where I left my opening. So now what I want you to do is grab your elastic and we're gonna put it in the shorts. So I'm gonna be using this little tool called the bodkin. I think I said it right, super weird little tool, right? But it's gonna help you get your elastic all the way around. And if you don't have one, that's okay. Old school, grab a safety pin. So now we're going to push this in the casing. And when you're pushing this in, you just wanna make sure that it's not twisting on you. Also make sure you don't lose your elastic while you're doing it as well. And again, you could just be doing this with a safety pin as well. Okay, so now we have both ends of our elastic here. And what we want to do is lay them flat on top of each other and zigzag over them, or you can use a straight stitch. We just want them to stay together and be nice and flat. You don't want to sew them together like a seam because then you'll have this bulky little bit. So we want to keep the elastic nice and flat. So just go over this area a few times so it's nice and secure. And cut. So your elastic should be nice and flat and secure. So now what we can do is pull the waist and get that elastic in that casing. Excellent. So now what we need to do is sew up this little opening here. So we are just gonna stick it in the sewing machine, make sure our elastic is out of the way and continue sewing up the casing so there's no hole in it. Don't forget to back stitch or fix if your machine has it. And let's just sew up that little opening. Back stitch and cut. Now that we have our elastic waist casing done, check it out. It is looking great. Now, if you want to make sure that your elastic isn't going to slide around in there, what you can do is stretch it out and basically make sure it's nice and flat and go ahead and run some straight stitches all the way around the waist. But I really like the way mine looks right now, so I'm going to leave it. So next is just putting an elastic casing in the bottom opening of the leg here. But if you don't want the bloomer look, you can totally just hem the bottom and then you've got a cute pair of shorts. But I want some bloomers, so let's bloom it up and make some elastic casings the exact same way we did for the waist for the leg openings. And again, you can use any width of elastic. And stay tuned to the end so you can see how bloomerific they're going to be. Back stitch and cut, and we are finished. We did it, we finished our bloomers. They are so cute. Remember, you can wear them to bed as pajama shorts, or you can wear them under your short dresses and skirts. And they fit great. Check out the elastic in the waist, the elastic around the legs. They are nice and bloomery, but not too bloomery.
Thanks so much for watching Stoey and Anastasia today. If you have any questions on how to make the bloomers, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you're not already a subscriber to Stoey and Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to make sure you give this video a thumbs up, give it some applause and leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you thought of the bloomers and would you make them as bloomers or just as regular elastic shorts? I would love to know your style preference as well. And I'd love to see what you've been sewing recently. So make sure you tag me in your sewing project so I can share them with everyone else. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio. And you can check all those out at sewinganastasia.com. I teach them virtually and in person. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok, make sure you add me so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, I designed the bloomer pattern. So if you want to make this bloomer pattern, make sure you download it at sewinganastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.